This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update. A child porn investigation is in the hands of the federal prosecutors. It's centered at a local behavioral health agency headquartered in Webster Groves. Nicholas Hodges is charged with receiving child porn. The 25 year old was employed by Webster based Great Circle, but worked at the organization's ranch in Steelville. As News 4 reported two weeks ago, Great Circle announced it will close its residential program this month. There's some big news on the vaccine front in Missouri. The state will begin delivering more doses to independently owned pharmacies next week. This has been in the works for months as Missouri waited for supplies to pick up. But next week, the state is pledging to send 30 St. Louis area pharmacies 200 doses, and that should continue each week. The state of Illinois is launching a multi million dollar effort to combat vaccine hesitancy. Governor JB Pritzker is using a public awareness campaign focusing on black and Latino communities. It's only a matter of time before supply outpaces demand. Vaccine hesitancy is real and misinformation, especially on social media, is rampant. We want to get you an update on the weather now with Kristen Cornett. So we start the day with some clouds, but this afternoon, partly cloudy, warmer than yesterday, a high of 57. That's about five degrees above average. Then we should be nice and clear this evening, more dry weather tomorrow, and we're getting even warmer, mostly sunny on Sunday up to 65. Monday and Tuesday, still dry. Now our highs around 70 degrees, almost 20 degrees above average. Big pattern shift though arrives around midweek. It starts to get windy. It's even a little bit humid. The chance of rain on Wednesday is quite low, only 20%, but showers and thunderstorms looking likely on Thursday, especially Thursday night, and potentially lingering into Friday.